What's up, guys? Collector B here. Happy Who? Sunday. <laughs> Collector B, Sunday. <laughs> uh, hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Hope you had a fantastic week. And we've got some cool stuff today, and we've got more... Pops. Pops, yes. So, if you're new, please like, comment, and... Subscribe. You guys are fantastic. I love you guys. Um, all you guys who keep coming back just means the world to me. So, let's get into it so we have the power rangers 30th year anniversary remastered figures and we have a new demon slayer figma so super super excited let's do it so ordered these guys off hasbro pulse uh waited quite a while for them uh big bad toy store ended up getting them in stock first a lot of other people got them well i finally got mine so super excited about this um, especially after once and always. So super, super cool. Trini, awesome. We're going to open her first. Um, what sucks about these? This is my biggest complaint. I love the art on this box. I mean, the front of this with this whole piece here, this if you could just open? see the figure here, man, I think they did a really awesome job on these boxes. I mean, even the side, look at that side. How cool is that? But you give me this plastic free box that sucks and even the back the back is fine with me too but you know is what it is i just think these are really really cool i i'm like really really obsessed with this i think this looks so cool especially this too just with those colors behind it just would have been really cool to uh you know oh there we go right next to that trini but we can't do that because we can't see the figure so kind of a bummer but it's all it's okay because uh i didn't open my first set so we're gonna open this set for sure um we did pre-order the green the red and the pink and then we are waiting for the black to release as well so super excited about all of these um i did see people get some bad ones of these i saw somebody's trini's arm was broken right out of the box i've seen missing pieces out of the blue one so hopefully we don't have that issue so cool so cool Stu. um so yeah so interesting i mean like even this she's not even like in there it's a mummy like you know, <laughs> zip, zip, zip tied in yeah, you know so it's just there. like this the whole time so there's trini and then of course we've got all the accessories all in one bag so i'm really hoping these aren't messed up because i'm really excited for these so cross your fingers and we got to actually grab the box so I can make sure I got everything. Because like I said, I did see people get missing accessories. So she comes with her head on? Yes, she mm. does. So here are her pieces. Um, you know, they're pretty bendable, so it's kind of cool. But I think these are pretty awesome that they gave them. I'd much rather have these, like, circle pieces that you could put around them than almost those pieces that go on their weapons. So I'm pretty yes. happy with that. I think those are actually pretty cool. And as you can see, like this... Is bent over but you could easily bend it higher if you wanted to getting it to stay over time you know that's another thing but do all of them come with these circle pieces um the blue one does i believe the other ones do as well but i not 100 percent sure i'd have to look i don't remember i pre-ordered them already and i already forgot so um you do get the blaster in blaster form the blaster in the side form where you can put it in their uh belt whatever that their holster and then of course you get the blaster as like the dagger so again you get all three there they're starting to do that every time which is okay i just i have a ton of these blaster pieces everywhere so um and then you do get her daggers which they do look good one of mine is bent but these always end up being bent it is what it is but they do look pretty good nothing crazy to them there's not like crazy detail but they look solid i mean they that's don't look the terrible. thing is like i get the guns everyone has them but they should have at least made them their colors yeah but been... that's just not how it was in power rangers i know they all had the same guns that's lame the wife doesn't like power rangers so you know she don't get it guys so um, you do get two extra sets of hands. So you do get the flat oh, palm hand as the wife just hits the camera. <laughs> um, then you kind of get a, I'm going to call this a waving hand. Hey. And then you do get a hand for her to hold stuff with. 
And then you do get a fist hand. So there is her thumbs up holding. His hands and... don't look very great. They're all right. I mean, every time you get just straight white hands from Hasbro, I don't think they look that great. And then there is the fist hand. So the one really cool thing I'm really glad they did with this um, that I'm pretty excited about, and it actually doesn't look terrible for how small it is, is you do get the morpher. Oh, so geez. they can hold the morpher, which is really cool. And honestly, like when you look at that, for how small that is, the saber tooth tiger looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. Like that's you can pretty tell pronounced. It's a saber tooth. That's what I was worried about. Is that it was just gonna be so small you weren't gonna be able to really see it. So, wow. Okay, Trini's helmet is, and this is my issue with these because I feel like a lot of the issues with this helmet is because it was rubbing with all these accessories. Um, I think the helmet looks good. There is just, and maybe if I just clean it off, but there's, you can kind of see by the visor, there's black bled everywhere. Um, and then there's just black dots all over the place. And I don't know if that's just painting errors or if it's because it was sitting in with those other accessories. Now, it's not terrible. It's not going to ruin the figure for me. Um, I did see somebody's blue have like a chunk taken out of it on the bottom. So thank God we didn't get that. But you can see that's why I wish these accessories were packaged separately. I feel like a lot of those smudges and black marks is maybe because of all this stuff hit it. So, kind of a bummer, but that's okay. It's not terrible, so I'm not going to complain. So, let's see Trini. And her arms are on, so that is a plus. So, they did really good on her head, I feel like. It might be a little chunky. Um... But I feel like they did really good on her head. And her costume looks... Ooh, the back of her belt is pretty shredded. Um, but that's about the only bad thing I see on this. The belt itself, honestly, is not fantastic. But she stands perfect. So there's her face. I think they did a good job, honestly. It's too fat. Um, it does look a little too fat. I would pull this one off, but I just don't want to, honestly. So... Um, but as you can see, the belt looks okay. When I turn it around, you're going to be like, ooh, gross. But otherwise, her costume itself, I think, looks really good there. Um, here's the side view. She stands pretty easily, which is super nice. I would say my least favorite thing about this whole figure is going to be the belt. Oh, Jesus. It is, yeah, it's pretty shredded on the back. I mean, at least it's the back. I'm okay with that. But again, here's these QC issues. Now, here is the other thing, though, is if she was in a plastic box, I wouldn't have seen the back of her belt anyways. anyways so, yeah. you know, kind of a miss there anyways. But, you know, overall, I think she looks pretty good. The costume looks good. Um, I don't see, like, much of a difference. The belt is different. The color is way different, I feel like, on these. Let me just, let's just grab this guy. Oh, okay. Jeez Louise. Yep, there we go, guys. So, I feel like this one is almost a mustard compared to this new one. I like this new color better. better. Yeah, it's more yellow. It looks better. It's more of a mustard. You can see the difference in the belt. This belt doesn't have the black around the outside. I think this belt actually looks better. Um, but there's not that much of a difference when you look at them. Now, the faces, yeah. I actually do think this face looks better. I do, too. But I do like that they put like gave her different hair. You know, mm -hmm. they didn't just redo the same exact hair. She looks too old in both of them, I think. Hmm. But yeah, so definitely a way different color. I actually did not realize how mustard color. I told you that. She was. Well, that's what I thought because the Super 7 one. See, but that's weird. All right, hold on. We're going to do something else here because we can. Because I forgot I do have a Trini open. But this is the Trini open from the Scorpina 2-pack. And she looks mustard yellow too. Almost. I'm not going to get her to stand. How I got her to stand on my shelf like that, but she won't stand on my table makes no sense. Oh, my goodness. And then you have the Super 7 one here, which is really mustard yellow. So, I mean, out of all of them, this one is definitely the most yellow, I would say. 
Yeah, but this one's pretty close it to is. the same. But it's I will say, and it might just be the light, but she looks really, really yellow. Even her helmet, compared to this one, looks oh, more yellow. It does. Looks way, yeah. way more yellow. Um, so she's definitely, definitely yellow, for sure. So let's put these guys back down, and let's pop her helmet on. So interesting. Um, I'm not... Oh, wow. That's how they did that? That's not right. God, that's two in a row. So the peg came out. Gone. So we could do this. <laughs> she has no neck. I know. <laughs> so, bummer. Um, oh, no. All right. We need to pause the video so I can grab some pliers. Okay. We got her peg back in. So you just have to use pliers. It kind of sucks that you have to do that, but, you know, it is what it is. Let's put her helmet on. How mad would you have been, though, if, if you had broke? to keep Trini's head on? Um, or... well, no, I, I would have just bought another one. Oh, Honestly, okay. these are still, you can get these in stock. Um, I believe Entertainment Earth still has them, and I believe Big Bad, and probably has Repulse. So they didn't really, like, sell out. I think the Green Ranger may sell out. Um, maybe the red one as well, because he comes with a dragon shield. But, you know, so there she is with her helmet on. Um, I think it looks good. The couple things bug me just with the helmet you know just because there's some issues but it's not that big of a deal she does look good i'm pretty happy with this figure uh i guess we'll put this in like this wow see but that almost looks too big to me it doesn't fit very well yeah it doesn't it's like the holster's too small because mm -hmm. the, blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. the other ones they have oh my gosh i can't talk yeah, the holsters are huge. Yes. On the other one. So kind of interesting there. Um, again, not that big of a deal. I don't really care about the holsters anyways, but you know, I know some people do. <clears throat> I'm pretty happy with this though. Honestly, I think it looks pretty good. Um I didn't do articulation, but we will. I just wanted to Show you guys how she's gonna look she does not want to stand like this but boom there you go so i really like these effects i'm digging these i think they're really cool um you know it looks great it looks fine to me mm -hmm. i am excited that you got the morpher like i might actually pose these with their civilian heads so they can hold their morpher um but you know it's not much of a difference to me um, everything else I think is the same. They do have the thigh swivel, which is super nice. Um, you know, they bend pretty good. Again, no toe joint like McFarlane, but you're going to be able to get them in good poses. Hasbro usually does a good job with this. Only thing I do notice with these thigh swivels is like, they're pretty cut. I mean, it's yeah. really cut, Noticeable. which I mean, is going to give you a bunch of articulation, but it almost looks like her leg is separated, at least for my right one. Um, the arms are good. They do have the bicep swivel. They're pretty skinny. And her head does move very well, side to side, up and down. And ab crunch without falling apart. Look how awesome that is. Because the last couple times we've tried to do ab crunch with figures, they have fell apart. So um, I'm pretty happy. I, I got everything in the box. So that is a major plus. And, you know, I do like the Trini head. Like I said, I may decide to pose her with that. We'll see. Just because she came with the Morpher, which I think is really cool. Um, and these effects are pretty cool. I'm pretty pretty down for these effects. So now if she could just stand. Yeah, it'd look really cool with all of them with their effects if they all come with those. Yeah. Just... Well, and then you could put the effects around them as they're morphing. Uh -huh. You know, they're holding their Morpher. That'd be really cool. So I'm happy with it. So really cool. The price sucks. On these, I will say, they're almost like 30 bucks, like 26 something for this to where, you know, these were like right around 20 and you kind of got the same effects, faces, stuff like that. So kind of a bummer, but that's okay. So we'll jump right into Billy. Um, the one thing I am very excited about with Billy here is his glasses are separate. So they come on and off, which is really cool because, you know, he doesn't wear his glasses 100% of the time. Um, and again, just the box artwork is fantastic. I know it's the exact same box, but just really, really cool. 
I'm really digging this. I like that he comes with his power lance that splits. You get it split and you get it all in one. Now, the original one did as well, so there's nothing really different. So the only difference in this guy and the other one, um, and I will show you my signed one that I have. Color looks different for sure, um, but as you can see, he does came with the same weapons. The only difference is this one comes with an effect for the lance, not the effects for um, on the bottom. It doesn't come as with many hands, and then obviously the guns, he only comes with the gun. Just the gun, or is it the holster one? The gun. Yeah, and then he doesn't come with his morpher, so there's a his little bit of a difference. His face looks there. wrecked compared it, to... Well, we'll see. We'll see, We'll yeah, see what but... happens, so... <clears throat> um so yeah so pretty cool um another thing too with these boxes when you do stuff like this like obviously you saw that mine is signed i got it signed last year met david yo super awesome guy um kind of bummer to just get this signed oh right? yeah like again mm -hmm. then you can't see the figure and i feel like if you're gonna get stuff signed though you want it in box you know so um yeah, kind of interesting. Um, I will say, though, if you needed a Blue Ranger, this is a lot cheaper than this one is right now. This one's going for stupid money right now. Oh, yeah. I need to keep the box so I can remember everything that's in it. So he did come oh. actually in there, which is kind of interesting. So the other one, the Yellow Ranger must spell out. So we have accessories, and we have Billy. And he does come with his civilian head on as well. So I just hope this helmet is good. That's really all I care about. As I just fudged <laughs> it up. Fudged it up. There we go. All right. So, yep, I'm missing pieces. Serious? Yep, what I got are you screwed. Missing? The power lance. Dang. Yeah, those don't go together. That sucks. That is, uh... Wow, that's the first time yeah. you... Well, so I've seen a lot of people have issues with Billy. So, I guess... I can email Hasbro Pulse and reach out to them because, yeah, it ain't in there. Kind of a bummer. So we kind of did get screwed. Um, that's all right. So here is his effect pieces. Again, I really like these pieces. I think they're pretty cool. They're exactly the same as the yellow one, though. Um, mm -hmm. Just different colors. Man, that's a bummer, guys. I'm pretty upset because... Oh, look, and... You're about to throw away his oh. other gun. So yeah, there's nothing else in here. That's a bummer. So again, you get this part of the gun. You get the gun. And you get the open saber part of the gun. Which looks okay. Then you get his lances. Well, his lance. His power lance. So kind of a bummer. What's interesting is it looks like you could put these together, but they don't give you anything to put them together. So either I'm curious if like it was just supposed to be a stick that goes in the middle, but I thought you were supposed to get these and then the actual lance together. So let's make sure. I don't, I don't think anything's left in there. I don't think so either. I want to make sure I didn't drop nothing. Nope. So kind of a bummer. But the Power Lance looks good. Uh, then he comes with alternate hands as well. He comes... This is a... There she goes. This is a weird, weird hand. I don't know what they were trying to accomplish with that hand. What the... Yeah. I'm not too sure. It's not Zach. I think it's... Oh, wow. <laughs> Sorry. I think uh, they were supposed to make it look kind of like a Kung Fu hand, kind of. But it really doesn't. Um, you get a palm hand right there, and then you get two fist hands. So he probably comes with two hands to hold his uh, power lance. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. His morpher don't look as good to me, and I don't know why. I think maybe it's just the color of blue they put in <clears throat> yeah it's not dark enough i was but say it that. just doesn't look as good um the glasses are cool there's nothing really to them he already needs to clean his glasses they look a little foggy to me but it is cool that the glasses come off i'm pretty excited about that i can't uh, even tell what it's supposed to be yeah the triceratops is hard to see 
and this helmet has is a little messed up as well kind of a bummer so helmet looks okay the bottom here looks pretty bad and there is kind of a scuff up there but nothing crazy oh sick okay we're not missing oh. it thank god i was kind of upset he's gonna freak out i'm having a freak out okay cool that's fantastic that's kind of dumb that they put it with him though i'm surprised this isn't more bent so the power lance was packaged with billy which is interesting this looks really good to me um it is a little bent just because that's how they packaged it but we are not missing it. Cool. That's awesome because I sure thought it did, we were missing. Like it. they have holes in here to That's where it does look though. Like for you sure. would just like, give something just... to connect it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh, you know, I don't think you're right. What? Oh, yeah. his face. I don't really like this face. Okay. We'll but. See. We'll see. His belt looks better. His suit is okay. For some reason, this reminds me of an Injetti. Um, in the cracks and everything, it just looks a little, like, sticky, not painted very well. There's some blue coming off. The white is not as clean. The face is, is okay. I don't know. Oh. I don't really... Nope. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying this face sculpt with this one looks good because it doesn't. But um, I don't think that face sculpt looks that great to me. Also, I don't think the blue looks as good. I really don't. I don't know why. And it's maybe just because this one is in box, but it doesn't look as good to me. But the belt looks fine. The suit is pretty good. But like I said, just kind of where he bends. It just kind of, when I turn it around, you'll kind of really see. It just kind of reminds me of the Ninjetis where they just were having these issues with the paint. Um, there's nothing crazy wrong with him. But you can kind of see when you get to his shoulders here and everything. There's just kind of like paint coming out. It just oh, looks a little, awesome. yeah. It's just, But it's not bad. His belt looks way better than Trini's, which is good. Um, he's not bad. I do like it. I'm not saying I don't like it. It just... Uh, I don't know. Maybe I was just expecting more, <laughs> but that's just me. So let's see what he looks like with his glasses on. You're not going to be able to see his eyes. Oh, he needs to clean his ear. <laughs> it's very dirty. So they do have spots around the ears for where, honestly, that looks better. I will say. I was going to say. But his glasses are so foggy. <laughs> It looks way better, but you can't it see does, through his glasses, right? Yeah. yeah, so what is cool, though, is they made indents on the side of his head for the actual glasses to stick in, oh, yeah, which is nice. Dirty. Did you see that ear? Yeah. yeah, he needs to clean his ears. So I actually think that does look a lot better. I will say, yeah, when you do in that. In Paris, like that, who yeah, the hell is, oh, <laughs> is that? Like, sorry, but. Yeah. With the glasses, it looks much better. So, but my only complaint is those glasses are very, they need cleaned, like yeah. very bad. So, um, yeah, honestly, not bad. Mm -hmm. I actually, that's, that's not bad. So let's, I'm going to put his helmet on and hopefully this peg don't get stuck. See, that's how it's supposed to be, folks. That's how it's supposed to be. Oh, okay. Okay. Can't get it all the way on. Oh, okay. I don't think it's all the way in there, but I think it's good enough. Okay. There we go. Cool. And power lance. Man, I was really upset. I really <laughs> thought. They screwed me out of a power lance. I was going to be pretty upset, actually. But. Oh, yeah. No, he looks good, though. 
He looks really good. Okay. Boom. Boom. If I can get him to stand. Always fun just trying to get them in that initial position. And then once you do, they usually stay pretty well, but... Come on. Boom. There it is. I like it. I really like it, honestly. It looks good. It's nothing crazy. It's not much different than these ones. Like I said, I think the blue is a little different. I feel like this blue's darker, darker. still, which is really weird because on the back of this box, he's light. It's pretty light. So, um, you know they're they're good they're... they did like primary colors for these power rangers yeah they made them more of like the actual color i think they're <laughs> supposed to be so um i mean i like these a lot i think they're really good um i don't have an issue with any of them i do think this morpher is not as good as trini's yeah i can't even and, see the triceratops you know i will say that billy's head looks a lot better um especially with the glasses on i really like that they made these indents for the glasses to go in because most of the time you know the ears are not so pronounced that these glasses just fall off pretty easily but that looks actually pretty good there and again it is a nice touch being able to have the lance in half and you know full i think like you said they could have just given you a middle piece mm -hmm. and been like here you go and yeah. have a whole new lance but that's cool so I mean, you do get quite a bit for the money, but again, it's just a remake of these Power Rangers. There's not that much of a difference. I mean, you do get, you know, different heads, um, and I know a lot of people didn't get the blue one when it first came out, so this is a much cheaper option than the other one I showed you, so I'm happy. I really like these effects. I'm going to have to figure out... I have no room to display all these with their effects, so I'm going to have to figure it out. And I don't know if I will have them with their civilian heads and maybe holding their morpher or something, but they give you quite a few options that you can do. So really cool. I'm pretty happy. You, I mean, they're not bad, right? No. Pretty good. I mean, a little paint, you know, misses here and there, but that's okay. So... So pretty cool. So <clears throat> there is our Power Rangers remastered versions. Um, like I said, I do have the green, red, and pink pre-ordered. I will get the black one as well. So pretty excited about those. Um, I, like I said, if you guys are still interested in these, I'm pretty sure they're on Big Bad Toy Store, Entertainment Earth, places like that. Hasbro Pulse probably still have them all. I mean, they'll probably go in and out of stock here and there. But again, they are closer to like $30. So especially if you're getting them shipped. So, so we got those first. But now everybody's favorite time isn't it oh yeah everyone's favorite time <laughs> funko pop time what the funko is up guys it's sunday so we have pops woo woo i've had these for a few weeks now but we're finally going to get to unbox which yay yay i don't know i'm gonna start with these guys i guess with these guys these guys we'll start with daffy We've got Daffy Duck as Shaggy Rogers, which they have... Who's Shaggy Rogers? Shut up. It's from Scooby-Doo. <laughs> if you don't know, then <laughs> see you later. Whoa. <laughs> but they have a few of the Looney Tunes on the back as Scooby-Doo characters. You got Bugs Bunny as Fred. I, always, I never knew his last name was Jones. Yeah. And then Lola Bunny is Daphne taz as scooby-doo and tweety bird as velma honestly tweety bird as velma is pretty spot on it is i'm only gonna get these two though because shaggy and scooby are my favorites and who cares about the other three and she doesn't really like the looney tunes so. it, yeah i'm not a fan but these were cool found these at books a million oh yeah that's right um He's cool. There's Daffy with his Scooby Snacks. This is WB 100 years celebrating every story. Every story. Whatever that means. I like how he even has like the goatee. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. 
different, cool. Not bad. Not bad. There is <clears throat> Daffy Duck as Shaggy Rogers. With my Power Ranger. Ooh. And now we've got Taz as Scooby-Doo. Which this one's Ooh. pretty cool. I like the collars around him. Yeah, Taz is, was always and... my favorite <laughs> growing up. My sister liked Tweety Bird, and I liked Taz. I don't know why. I didn't really even watch Looney Tunes that much, but Taz is just cool. Yeah. I think I watched, uh, like, Wiley e. Coyote and the Roadrunner. But yeah, honestly, <laughs> like, that honestly. was the best ones to watch on Looney Tunes. I don't even really remember watching Taz in Looney Tunes, honestly. Like, Space Jam. Yeah. But, but... I mean, it was mostly, like you said, Wiley e. Coyote. Or the only other people I remember is uh, Elmer Fudd and Bugs, Bugs Bunny, Bunny, you know? Yeah. So, um... Yeah, I wasn't that big in Looney Tunes either, but I really liked Taz. That sucks. He don't move at all? He doesn't move at all. Yeah, that's kind but... of a bummer. Because he looks like he's in like a toilet or like a um, Mario's shoot. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, where'd he go? <laughs> yeah, no, that is really cool it's that they cool. just put Scooby-Doo collars mm -hmm. all around him. What's funny, though, is like they made him look like um shaggy shaggy but this is just taz taz is with scooby's collars yeah still cool though that is really cool i actually do really like that i like this a lot more than i thought i mm -hmm. would like a cloud of dust at the bottom yeah does he come with a stand <laughs> boom yeah no i like his arms too yeah it, I just wish his head would move, but... Yeah, that one's not bad. Mm -hmm. I actually really like that one. Pretty cool. Pretty, Pretty cool. Pretty cool. We're going to move on to Hercules holding himself. Not in that way. Oh, we can't show. <laughs> no, he's holding his action figure of himself. Oh, Hercules, Hercules. We found this at Walmart. Wally World. I have... Have you seen it at Target? No. No. The only place we've seen this is Walmart. It's and I mean, we haven't seen any of the others. I mean, we've seen Hades. I hate how Hades But the Hades, Hades doesn't looks. look good. Oh, Baby Pegasus. Yeah, I'd probably have to get Baby yeah. Pegasus. Yeah, screw Baby Hercules, though. See, this would look really good with your 40-year-old virgin. Oh, Where he's holding both. his toy, <laughs> yeah. you know? That's great. Andy... Wetzler or I don't know something like that Andy Bernard I did really like Hercules growing up so did I it was it was a good movie. it was a good mm -hmm. animation for his sure his action figure too looks really good for how small it is his action figure looks better than him right be cool what if he that? was squeezing it though. is that supposed to be his tat i can't focus his tattoo on his foot what yeah i'll show you because doesn't he have like no they don't have like almost like henna tattoos no okay then Hercules? yeah what's on his foot what do you mean what's on his, his left foot is that his sandal? His sandal bled over. It's okay. bad QC. We'll just say it's a tattoo. It's not. That doesn't look like a tattoo of a, a poop. Like no. A poop? There we go. Oh, except he's very top heavy. Ooh. Yeah, it's that action figure. He didn't come with a stand either. Honestly, the action figure's face looks way better. Right? Not really a huge fan of his no. face. Which, I have seen these like little micro pops. I... Mm -hmm. Is that what they were called? Yeah, I think so. They only had the Looney Tunes, or no, it was Mickey Mouse, mm -hmm. which not a fan, but they're they look really cool. So if they come out with ones, I like. I'll probably buy them and show you. But yeah, they're, they're like, like four packs, and they're like really small, tiny, and they come in little pop boxes that look so cool. They have Fantasia Mickey. Yeah, which right here. Boom! Okay. Boom! We're gonna go with. Miss Angela Martin and Sprinkles, which Collector B got this for me. Yep. Did you buy it? Facebook Marketplace. Oh, Facebook. It was a GameStop exclusive at one point, but I've been waiting to get Angela with Sprinkles because... 
Because you only have Angela in her track suit or well, her it has sprinkles suit. on her yeah. shirt, but oh God, sprinkles looks pissed. Mm -hmm. R.I.P. to sprinkles. He knows Dwight's gonna kill him. Does it have a quote? Oh, it does. Okay, back to the quotes. I actually look forward to performance reviews. I did the youth beauty pageant circuit and enjoyed that quite a bit. I really enjoyed being judged. I believe I hold up very well to even severe scrutiny. Angela, you've been totally satisfactory this year. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of a lame it quote was, when yeah. she's holding sprinkles. Like, say something about sprinkles. Yeah. Come on. Poor sprinkles. Poor sprinkles. She's going to need the stand for sure. Jeez. Shoot. And guys, okay. don't put your cats in freezers. Yeah, please. Especially when there's french fries in there. She looks really good. Let's see if she stands. Oh, no, she actually stands really well. I think Angela looks great. Her hair looks great. Yeah, this pop is spot on. Mm -hmm. Sprinkles has like a nasty, nasty little yeah. evil look on his face. Oof, her heels are terrible though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, she looks really good. Yeah. Sprinkles! Oh, yeah, he just looks pissed. Probably one of the better office women I've gotten that actually stand. Yeah, because most Meredith of mine, and Jan have issues. Meredith, Jan, Aaron. Kelly. Kelly. It's because it Sprinkles is holding her down. Yep. Boom! Angela and Sprinkles! Dope. Next, we've got Alan Parrish from Jumanji. Where did I find this? Was this at the comic book store? Oh, it was. Right? Yeah. This was at Replay Toys Replay when Toys. I got that Red Ranger that just fell out of the box. The box, uh-huh. It's a jungle in here. <laughs> That's cool. Jumanji, again, was a really cool movie back in the day. Yeah, we're not talking about the new Jumanji kids. No. Okay? This is the old Jumanji, so Thug Jumanji. Yes. Yeah, this is right when he first comes back. Mm -hmm. huh? That stupid hunter, man. I hated that guy <laughs> so much. Oh and, like, the quicksand, when he gets stuck Sorry. in the wood, like, that scared the heck out of me <laughs> when I was a kid. Honestly, Jumanji used to scare the crap out of me. Really? Yeah, just because, like, you know, like, you used to play games back in the day, and you're like, oh, my God, like, did you ever have the Jumanji game? I never bought it because I was so scared I was going to get sucked into oh the game. Oh, my gosh, you would. Yeah, guys. Sure. Does anybody else feel like that? Let us know in the comments below, <laughs> please. <laughs> no, I never felt like that. Boom. I was waiting for it to happen to me, you know? Like, let's go. <laughs> he, he looks, looks really cool. He looks awesome. <laughs> Wilson. Just kidding. I know. Not not the same. Not the same. Yeah, this is cool. This is literally the only... Like, I'm sure they have more, but this is the only Jumanji pop I have seen. Oh, yeah, and there's nothing on the back, in, so... In person. Mm-hmm. This I got yeah, for 11 great. bucks at the comics book store, too. Yeah, he so was So it cheap. was for basically retail, so that was cool. Yeah, because I have no idea when he came out. I don't... Does it say on the box 2019 man they look like a couple <laughs> sorry Stupid. we got two couples Ooh. except r.i.p to trini Son of a... whoa Ooh. Well, this is not a very good family no, channel it's today not. <laughs> bro oh all right just keep going okay. we'll fix it next and last we've got next and last kenny powers from eastbound and down if you haven't watched the show you're missing out because i don't know what it is about danny mcbride but i love him i think he's hilarious honestly guys I he was a hater i can't stand danny mcbride this show is so funny i and mean you've now been a fan of yeah a lot no of i have shows. i just used to think he was like really stupid um but a lot of these shows that he's been doing, like there's this one, and there's one called Vice Principal, and then there's uh, the righteous what's gemstones. the Righteous Gemstones, which is which is hilarious. <laughs> so definitely check it out because 
it is really funny. I, I love Eastbound and Down. Wish they would do more characters from Eastbound and oh Down, God, but I... these are old, so I don't Stevie. know. Stevie. Stevie. Maria. Maria. Tits and taters, you know. Big cannons. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. La Flama Blanca. <laughs> and he's a baseball player, so. It's it's really funny, guys. So now you can put him with Showtime. Him with Showtime. Show Pitch hey, into Showtime. Jeez. This bro. is great. Ooh, he has a nasty scuff on his arm, but. That's a, that's a cut from being drunk. Oh, true. Yeah. True. Boom. <laughs> Man, he looks mean. I love it. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. We just keep dude. knocking over everything today. I'm sorry. Ugh. What is it? Sorry. Myrtle Beach Mermen. Yeah, that's I right. <laughs> Oh, I can't even put a stand in Hercules if I wanted to. <laughs> yes. I love it. Like, Where do you see the scuff in his arm? On his... Oh, that's his tattoo. Okay, he doesn't have any tattoos, but... I know. <clears throat> that's He's nasty. Awesome. That is nasty. Really cool. I love it. I love it. All these are actually... Most yeah. of these were better than I thought they were going to uh -huh. be. Uh-huh. Same they would stand i can't get my pops to stand all right so we've got daffy as shaggy rogers taz as scooby-doo alan parish from jumanji alan parish as himself <laughs> mr kenny powers probably drunk on the mound Angela Martin holding sprinkles, R.I.P. Sprinkles, and Hercules holding, holding himself. himself, not in that way. Boom. Sick. Let me know down below. What pop is your favorite this week? Mine is... I'm going to have to go with Kenny Powers because... Yeah, I really like that, Taz. The Alan Parrish is really good. Oh, the Angela, yeah. I mean, they're all pretty good. Uh -huh. The Daffy's probably my least favorite. Yeah. And but there's nothing really wrong with him. But yeah, the Kenny Powers is pretty cool. Thug, like Duggan. So thanks for so. watching, <laughs> <laughs> and we will see you next week with more pops to come. Ooh, <laughs> Kenny Powers. We're back. How cool. How cool. Kenny Powers is the man. La Flama Blanca. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, so definitely uh, check out Eastbound and Down. It's really good. And definitely check out Books Million if you want some more pops. So Unless you're easily offended, don't. Go watch yeah, it. that's true. That is true. <laughs> so, is. so, so far, Power Rangers has been pretty good. Pops has been pretty good. But I'm just really, really excited for this. I've been waiting for this for probably about a year now and a year yeah it's been a while i pre-ordered it like last year and i'm too stoked because these are some of my favorite figures that they make so boom we have red goku max factory figma these figures are so cool so um figma is kind of like an offer brand um i think it's japan or overseas i don't know exactly what it is but um, I've got Tanjiro, Zenitsu, and Nezuko of these, and they are just fantastic. Just the articulation, the faces, the accessories is really, really cool. So, boom, look at that side of the box. Ooh. Really, really cool. So Should we, have taken that plastic off. I'm going to. We'll show it again. Um, so we finally got Rengoku. Really cool. I actually had this pre-ordered on Big Bad Toy Store, and it's still not shipping. Um, I decided just to kind of look around a little bit, and guess what? It was on Amazon, ready to go. And it was about forty dollars cheaper on Amazon, so uh, canceled our pre our Big Bad Toy Store pre order, and we got him. So I'm pretty excited. Uh, as you guys can tell, we're pretty obsessed with Demon Slayer. What? So um, I'm really looking forward to this. Except my other ones didn't have plastic on them. Yeah, they is... did. No, they didn't. I don't think Are you so. sure? I, I think they don't did. Think so. Gosh, okay. open it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't think it had plastic, but let's pull the plastic off. Yeah, I need to go from the bottom. All right. Let's go to the box again. 
These boxes are really cool. So again, you have the art on the side, which is really awesome. Then again, you have everything on the back. Akaza is not included with this. So there you go. They do have Akaza and they do have the Butterfly Lady uh, coming out as well, which I don't remember the Butterfly Lady. is not Kano, but the other one. But I'm really hoping that they decide to make Tangan, which would be really cool. Because um, I really do like these. So we'll see how awesome this is. Ooh. Boom. So you just slide that off. Oh my god. I am just beyond really, really stoked. So Kyojiro Rengoku. So there it is. And again, you do have this side art here. And then the back of this box is a little different. There is no Akaza on there. They just show you everything he comes with, which is super awesome. Oh, this looks really cool. I could leave this in box and be happy. Yeah. I'm not going to. Look at the top. Yeah, the box is Boom. awesome. So, oof. I got to be remember how to open these because I got to be very careful with these because I really, really like these. Boom. And Rengoku is just... One of my favorites, R.I.P. My Goku. <laughs> so here we go. This is gonna be five million times better than any McFarlane Demon Slayer figure. So pretty, ooh, pretty <clears throat> stoked. Oh, okay. So rainbow packs. Let's get into it. So you do get a stand. I actually really do like the Figma stands. Um, they're actually not bad at all. At least the ones that I've... And this looks almost like identical to the other ones. Um, but the ones that came with Tanjiro and Zenitsu and Nezuko are super solid. Especially for like some flight stands. They actually hold very well. Which is cool. So you do get this base. It would be nice if they would have done something with the base though. You know, to kind of like make it Demon Slayer. Mm -hmm. Or like for him like fire. You know, but... That's okay. I just like the multiple different places. You yeah, can put they give stuff. you lots of different places to uh, put the pieces in, which is super nice. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna get this. So you get two stands with him. <clears throat> so that one. Yep. And one of these is probably for the effects. I think this one mm -hmm. is for the effects. So, boom and boom. Now we got these fire effects. So I'm gonna have to figure out how this stuff works. Okay. So you get these fire effects. I believe these just sit on the ground. Um, oh, these are nice. Yeah, when you flip them too, they're really cool. They do look really good. The fire looks awesome. And you have this piece, which I believe can attach to his sword. Yeah. Let me see. Or does this go on the stand? I think this might go on the stand, actually. Because it <clears throat> does have a peg piece right oh. there. So I think that is what goes into here. Nice. Which that fire effect is really cool. It's like I'm, a crescent moon of fire. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked about both of those. Those are awesome. Okay. There you go. He is not glow in the dark. Like his Son bummer. of a gun. I know. Kind of a bummer, isn't it? It'd be okay. cool if they put like little LED lights in the fire to make it like glow. Mm -hmm. You could. Oh shoot. You could. Oh, oh, it's underneath. I was like, I know they're giving me that too, but I forget it's always underneath these boxes. So here you go. Again, I love this too. They give you the little Figma bag for Not the accessories. Piece. Which is really cool. And then we've got lots. I love the hand yeah. holders. I do too. The hand holder is really nice. So I'll let you go over yeah. those hands. There's, I mean, you get more hands than that too, mm -hmm. which is really cool. Spirit finger hands. Ah. Spirit finger. Some more open hands. Set your heart ablaze. 
sword holding hands. Interesting. I forgot what some of these, I haven't opened one since Tanjiro, mm -hmm. but I forgot. What's weird is like, what is, what's up with those? What? What do you mean? That's the peg. That's the peg? Uh-huh. That's weird. I'm pretty sure. And then I forgot what Maybe these. Maybe not. I, I totally know. forgot what these are for. I cannot remember. And then they give you an extra peg. Just in case you like oh, break some nothing. pegs. I don't know what these are. Right? It's weird. I don't I do not remember. Maybe it's just to protect the the, the hole. Let's we'll see. What the heck? <laughs> this is cool. Uh I didn't realize he came with that. Interesting. You just switch. I thought his arms just folded over like that. So, this is cool. I think they're just covers. But, so his cross arms are just new arms. Oh. Like, you actually get full nice. new arms for them. So, that's That's really, really nice because cool. good luck trying to fold them like that. That's interesting. So, boom, you get some cross arms there, which obviously we'll probably have to mm. throw on. Oh, my God. His sword looks insane. Then you do get this fire effect piece, which I believe goes on his sword. Yeah, which is really cool. I like that they threw the black in there. They just make the fire look really good. Oh my goodness, he is insanely good. Oof, oof, okay. So I have no idea what these are. They're eyes, but I don't know what this is. Well, let the people see. I don't know what, what is it. Is. I have to read, figure out what the heck that is. Looks like eyes, but there's no heads for it to go in. So weird, right? I'm going to have to look at the description and figure out what it is. Uh, yeah yeah i don't know then he comes with some of the the, the best hand i've ever seen a figure come with oh chopsticks See, that has the, that on the bottom too i know really i think weird. it just protects that's what i'm possibly thinking too, but that's i've never seen them before. oh yeah so dope then you not only get those you get the bento box. Woo! Tasty. Tasty. Really, really cool. Nice. Then it's interesting that, like, some of the things they give you here. Like, I'm kind of in awe. So you get this piece, which goes in his sheath with yeah. his sword. I know. But what's weird is, so then you get his sword in the sheath, this Oh, okay, so the handle, this is the one where the handle comes out. Ah. Okay, but there it is on there. Here's the sheath, which it looks really good. So I'll have to see if the other sword doesn't have it on for some reason. But this, yeah, see this sword has it on too. So it's I'm because curious. he gives it to Tanjiro when he dies That's to true. give back to his brother. That's true. And wears it on his belt. Yeah. Okay. Oh, my goodness. And then you get his actual sword which oof, this looks fantastic oh, man man looks fantastic Ooh. right yeah that's how you do a sword noise all right so we're getting into faces and then we've got the figure so we have and this is his Tasty face, I'm guessing. <laughs> Tasty! <gasps> yeah. He looks funny. It, no well, hair. yeah, because no hair. That's, <laughs> that is what's funny. The first time I got these, you know, we looked at like, the heads and we're like, this Ugh. looks terrible. Well, yeah, because it's just the mm -hmm. face plate. Like, and then you got this one. Oh my but, gosh. You pop in new eyes. You pull out that white piece and put those eyes in. Oh, that's wild. That's the only one that has that. Yeah. 
Huh. That's new. Cool. That is that new. That wasn't on Good any catch. of the other ones. Yeah, that's new. Then you got that. Yes. That the face best face. Is amazing. Ooh. Okay, folks. Oh, his leg just came off. Oh, no. It's fine. It's because they put all this... They need to do all over again. Right. This is the only thing I hate, is they put all this plastic, and they do, I mean, they do this to protect the figure, but it's just, like, all over them. Yeah, it's, so this one, he won't have a side eye. Oops. Interesting. Yeah, they never, the other ones didn't uh -uh. have like eyes like that, so that's cool. Something new. Figma doing something new for me. <clears throat> Sorry, this plastic. Come on, dude. We want to see. It's everywhere, man. This is too much. It's a little more. And I have to reattach his leg. Oh, he broke. Really? No. Oh. I'd be pissed. Oh, and apparently, when we were, because he says tasty a lot, and so we looked up, like, apparently in Japan, soldiers always say tasty because they never know when it will be their last meal, oh, which is kind you. of sad, but. Okay, his leg is kind of hard to put back on. Oh, oh ho, ho. that freaking. Red Goku! Doesn't stay on very well. Well, it has a hole. Oh, oh okay. So. Can you show it? Yeah, sorry, I'm in awe. All right. There is Kyojiro Rengoku. Looks fantastic. I mean, I don't have... See, least... why can't more people do legs like that? Yeah, like, those legs look come fantastic. On. Now, um, I will say his leg popped off pretty easily. That is the one thing I will say about these Figmas. Parts do kind of fall off, but, like, once you get him in poses, like, my Zenitsu kind of fell apart, but, like, he's been totally fine oh, since yeah. I've got him posed. Um, just, yeah, like you said, legs look great. His hair looks fantastic. His um, Demon Slayer corpse outfit is brown, by the way. I know. It looks, looks good. black, though, um, in the show. Love his shoes. Love all that. Looks really good. Just look at that hair, man. The hair's phenomenal. I actually think that moves, but we're going to test. It looks like So he it. comes with fist hands on, too, which is cool. And then, obviously, you can see the peg on the side. That is where his sword goes. Um, you can see, you know, he kind of separates there a little bit. I get some people would be upset about that. But these are made to move pretty well, so it looks fine to me. And, honestly, I like the face sculpt on him, too. I really do like that as well. Mm-hmm. So then, so we'll put him here for a second. He stands very well. Here is his coat, which just is phenomenal. Um, again, so these kind of have movement, not much, but these are on pegs. So you can nice. move these for your action shots. Even the back one is on as well. So really cool. They did this with Nezuko's hair. They they just really do a cool job with that. Looks and the really flames good. look fantastic on the back. So it does have a peg there. <laughs> and then obviously he has an open hole on his back. So the one thing I will say, it's going to be hard. Oh, okay, so real quick. Yep. So these pieces of hair move mm. for you. This piece moves for you i mean like they put pegs in the hair i wish That's more fantastic. figures hair would move like yeah this, I so guess. now when i put this on i can lift his head up i can lift move those hair pieces and try to get that on and like if i want to let's put this up bam red goku fantastic <sighs> I love it. Yeah. I think it looks so good. So, ooh, okay. So we got to try some things here real quick because I want to see. So these arms, I just am so scared. Okay. This is going to be interesting. Okay. So you get these here. The wife said, yeah, these are just in there to protect.
Okay, that peg does move very well. <sighs> That's pretty cool. That's really cool. That's awesome. Boom. That looks so good. Look at that. Ooh. So that's really cool that they give you that. Um, you still still do kind of have some movement because of the pegs, but that's really cool that you can kind of just put him there and just bam, what up, Tanjiro? Oh, with his coat on too, or whatever you want to call those. Those arms are really cool. Mm -hmm. Now it's going to be a pain to get them off. So, <laughs> um, okay. So a couple other things. See, now this is where, okay. So that came off actually really easy, which is nice. So yeah. there's those arms. I do like those. Um, okay. We're going to go full like bloody mode here. Yeah. Okay. So I wish they would have given hands with blood on them too. That would have been cool. What did you do? Well, his whole peg came out. Oh. Which is interesting. I just want to make sure, like, that's coming off, but, like, okay. Just, I really don't want to break this figure, you know? And I really yeah. haven't had one of these break on me, so it's okay. All right. There he is, bald. Ah! So, again, if you haven't watched me open one of these before, that comes off. Oh, so you can switch out these eyes, too. Oh, nice. Boom. But there's that face sculpt. And then this just all stays then, huh? Yeah, this all stays. So, bam. Oh, sorry. <sighs> oh, yeah. Got to switch out the hands. What hands are to hold the, his sword? Probably this one. That would be his left hand. This would be his right. This one. Yeah, this one. So this was a hundred bucks on Amazon. Um, it's 150 on Big Bad Toy Store, and you could probably find them on eBay, and you could probably find them on Marketplace. You, people sell these here and there pretty much um, all year, which is nice, but this one did just come out. Oh my goodness. Set your heart ablaze. <laughs> Just so thug. Look at that with his bloody face and everything. Mm, I love it. Yeah. So really cool. Um, I believe this effect goes around his sword. I'm curious how it's supposed to. I think you're just supposed to like wrap it. Cause that's what it just shows on the box that it's just kind of like wrapped around because i don't see like a it's at the tip yeah but like i don't see like a slot or anything that this goes in like on the sword so that's kind of weird um is the black up or is the black i can't tell let's see yeah interesting no it's at the bottom too well, I guess there's black on both sides, so. Yeah, I'm not really sure about that effect. It doesn't go on very well. But, you know, like we said, you do get these fire effects around him. And then you get this as well. So you could kind of have that coming off of his sword if you wanted to. Um, you do have this stand, which just goes right into the back oh, of him. I was like, why is there a hole in his back? Duh. So if you wanted him in like a fighting pose, you know, standing up a little bit. Just boom. the flames around him. Look like... really cool. Yeah. 
And then of course, again, if you did not want to actually have him with his sword out, you can throw this guy on. I thought Zenitsu's was already on when I got it. I was, I'm probably wrong. I don't remember. Bam. <laughs> they are kind of annoying, though. Like, you have to definitely get them just in the pose you want. Um, and just kind of messing around with them, you know, pieces do fall off here and there. They don't break. They just like, they're just like not so tight on that. They just kind of like fall off here and there. But the, like I said, once you get them in the pose you want, they don't, they, move. they don't move. They're pretty solid. And so there he is without his sword in his hand. So again, you do have the half the sword in there. So you can put his hand on there, which is really cool. Um, I do want to see what you're talking about real quick. I just don't know how I'm going to, like, okay. Wow, yeah, that's that's weird. So you can pop these eyes out. And oh, then you have, like, Jeepers, Jeepers creepers, creepers, right? Justin Where'd Long. you get those eyes? Where did you get? Yeah, exactly. So, but you did get different eyes, which I don't know what eyes these are. Which, this is a new one. None of the other ones. Uh-uh. Did that look much different, though? No. Like, yeah, so kind of interesting. So the only one you can't flip out the eyes on is His. the head sculpt I have in, or the faceplate I have in. Now, yeah, it doesn't look much different. No, so, but that's cool. But really cool. I mean, we've got tons of hands. We've got these cross arms, which is cool. I mean, I didn't even do the bento box and this hand yet, which is really <laughs> cool for tasty. You know, um, the eye switching is really cool. These flame effects are awesome. This is really cool. And like, he just looks, he just looks phenomenal. I'm, I'm really stoked. I really, see, like I said, though, pieces just fall off. But it's, it's interesting too, because like, when I say pieces fall off, Sure, a lot of you are like, wow, well, then, like, why would I want to buy that, you know, if it's so loose? They're not loose. They're just easy to get off. I, I have never broke one of these Figmas. I've never had to heat them up. I've never had to do anything like that. And again, they just give you so much movement with the coat. And for it not being cloth, you still get some oh, crazy yeah. movement. Um, it looks great. The effects, the stand, just fantastic. I'm so stoked. And then again, this little bag for all your accessories, kind of like Mezco um, or Mafex or any of them. So, boom, mm -hmm. there is... Dang. Jesus. Did he break? <laughs> no. Yeah, so really cool. And like the wife said, the pants always look better. I feel like they just do a really good job uh figma does i'm all about figma right now there is another brand called buzz mod um that does have some demon slayer figures uh they do have tangin which looks really good which i kind of want to get but i'm kind of waiting for the figma to come out so i can just match why them don't all. you compare them now great. that'd be cool it's she's louise just knocking oh, over everything i can't today it's i just Billy. can't give me that effect so we got some cool effects today which is really awesome with a lot of these figures um which is cool they just make your displays god dude they just make your displays pop more which is really awesome and i'm pretty happy with all of these i mean the power rangers are pretty decent um i i, I didn't have these basically already they, you know, I would have liked them more, I think. The Rengoku is just Oof. fantastic. I could sit here for another hour and go over everything with you guys and about how ecstatic I am about this thing. Um, but it is just beyond awesome. And then the pops are really cool as well. So, um, man, I'm stoked. We're going to have to do some pictures with this. Even if they're not amazing pictures, I just mm -hmm. want to get the tasty and, like, the, the flames. Really, really cool. So, um... 
that's what we got today. You guys will have to let me know what you guys think about these Power Rangers figures, what you think of this Figma, the Pops, same thing. Are you guys getting any of these? Did you pre-order the new ones? Because they're pretty decent. I like them a lot. So um, follow us on Instagram. Link will be in the description below. Maybe we'll be, maybe there will be some Rengoku pictures. There's going to have to be because I'm, I'm pretty stoked. So one thing I do am a little disappointed with this is Tanjiro came with the flame effects for the sword. Um... I wish he would have, but I guess I you could just take... grab Tondros and slide it onto the sword, which would be cool. Because then I could, Tondro also came with the water effect, so I could throw the water effect on him. Um, so really cool. Uh, yeah, that's it. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day today. Um, have a fantastic week. Hope you guys find a lot of stuff. And yes, no McFarlane, Batmobile, or any of that from The Flash yet. Um McFarland hates me and does not want to ship me my stuff. I've still not got a shipping notification. Pre-ordered first day, the Batmobile, the Batwing, both Batmans, nothing still. So, um, you know, I'll get it when I get it. I'm in no rush, but uh, look forward to that. So hopefully we get those maybe next week. We'll see. Still no shipping notification. Hopefully we find some more good stuff. Um, not really looking for too much right now, but, you know, every time you go to the store, you find something new, don't you? No. <laughs> yep so um yeah so that's it have a fantastic day thank you all for coming and as always collectors never stop